the scramble to find the living and the dead in Gaza as a short-lived ceasefire ends. And with fighting comes a war of words, with each side blaming the other for breaking the truce. The Israeli enemy is the one that breached the truce when Israeli special forces entered the eastern side of Rafah. The Palestinian resistance clashed with them, and this was our right to defend ourselves. Israel, in turn, blames Hamas. At 9.30, barely one and a half hours after the starting of the ceasefire, Hamas forces opened fire at our forces in direct violation of the ceasefire. Israel's main ally, the U.S., is also blaming Hamas for violating the ceasefire. While on the streets of the West Bank, Palestinian anger over yet more Israeli attacks on Gaza is boiling over. More than 1,500 Palestinians, mostly civilians, have been killed in the conflict. While on the Israeli side, 63 soldiers and three civilians have died. One soldier is reported missing. This after hopes the ceasefire would turn into a durable calm.